Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas vlog. I'm in the house, Alex has gone off. He's gone to a, um, a Bentley men's perfume launch today in London. He, um, he went to a 9 a.m. breakfast and uh, bless him, he had to be up at like 6 a.m. so he could get there on time. This is, I said to him, I was like, this is why I only have meetings after 11 these days because otherwise it is a very, very early morning. It's just me, I've just cleaned the whole kitchen and I'm just making myself an avo shake to start the day. You know what? I don't remember last time I made myself a proper breakfast and I'm trying to, I'm really trying to start taking more care of myself, I must admit. I always say this and it lasts for like a day. Um, yeah, I'm trying to take more care of myself, um, be a lot more healthy with my choices, have more vitamins and, and good fats and everything and stop eating loads of crap. Yes, cheese. So that's what I'm trying. So I'm trying to be proactive today and make myself a good, nice breakfast. So I'm making myself an avo shake with avocado, oat milk and oats for some good fats and it's not got any excess sugars packed into it, which is great. And I just love this so much, so I'm excited. So I've just done one full avocado. To be honest, you only need half an avocado in this shake, but I'm just gonna do all of it, because otherwise it just goes off, doesn't it? You can just hear, sorry, you can just hear the Dyson in the background. I always have him, when I'm in this kitchen, I have him up there blowing all the hot air in. We still don't have our radiators. They're coming this month. But because of that, this kitchen is, that's the work then, in the closet. Um, yeah, this kitchen's cold at the moment, so the Dyson is fabulous. Yeah, I feel like I'm having somewhat of a productive morning today, which makes me feel really, really good. I only used to go into London in a little bit, without time is it? It's quarter past 10, so I've, I've got quite a bit of time. I'm only leaving at like half 11, so great. So, one avo. This is literally, do you know Joe and the Juice? Which is like my favourite. Favourite. This is pretty much their avo shake and I just kind of made it myself. Little day, little porridge oats. Like a good handful of porridge oats pretty much. Right, I want to put in some protein. This goes off this month. So let's have a look. <laughs> I mean, Alex just really likes Huel stuff because it's all like vegan proteins. And the vanilla one is delicious. I reckon it's fine. But like three quarters in. And now I'm going to need extra milk. Favourite utensil. Is that utensil? Is it? I don't know. Favourite gadget ever. The new dribble. Honestly, it's just so handy. It just works so well. Get that really thick. Oat milk. Also, this guy's like, you guys might find this like really not sweet enough. In which case, you put like a little bit of honey in it. You could put chia seeds in it. Flax seeds. Uh, I mean, you can put anything in it you actually like. So, but I just really like this. It's very like oaty flavour. And I've got some leftover, so winner. And I just bought some bamboo straws as well on Amazon from Bambooey. <laughs> Bambooey, how cute. What's good? I think I might have put a bit too much vanilla protein in, I'll be honest. Nah. I think that'll be fine. Right, so um I'll be honest, I'm not going to take you along today to London because I've just got lots of meetings and won't need my camera as much for us. So I'm going to leave it at home and I'll come back to you when I get back. Um, but yeah, just got a bit of a busy day ahead. I just thought I'd check in and say hi this morning, seeing as I had some time. I'm just coming back quickly to say I forgot banana. Banana. A full banana. <sighs> Duh. Hi guys. <laughs> Feeling far on me now. It's so nice to put on like a face of makeup. I've just put on the new, it's a new Charlotte Tilbury palette and it's like a face and a palette. It's got bronzer, eyeshadows, a blush, set of blushes and highlight and I've done my entire face with it and I'm absolutely blown away with it. It took me, it was like five minutes and I love this eye look. Oh, so happy and just having my lashes on fleek again is fabulous. Got big brows going on. Feeling 
Um, I'll quickly show you my outfit. I've got my Helen Cooper jacket and my bulgur bag. Just black roll neck underneath. My Dior pearly necklace and my doo -doo -doo. <laughs> my Ted Baker boots again. Oh, and just some like blue jeans. And that's about it. But um, yeah, Alex is on his way home now. And I'm on my way out. I know I said I hadn't brought my camera out today, but I'm just gonna quickly vlog on my phone. I've just come along to La Perla, and until the 15th of December, so for a few weeks, in their boutique in Selfridges. Absolutely gorgeous in here. I've never actually been inside this boutique inside Selfridges. It's on the third floor. If you buy any piece of like silk, if it's like a pajama or a cami or anything, you can have it customized and personalized in store. So currently I have this lovely lady here is putting a little VM on a beautiful cami slip dress for me. And it's just, you might just be able to see, but it's just a slip that's hanging up here in the corner. Gorgeous, so I'm really excited. So yeah, if you wanna get yourself or your loved one a special something silking gorgeous for Christmas, then um, yeah, you can get it personalized at the Perla. Morning guys, welcome to Friday morning. Feeling a little bit like Anne Boleyn in this headband. I would never usually wear a headband like this, but I just found it and I put it on and then thought, I'd keep it on. I kinda like it. It's for a brand called Elementor Jewelry and they started doing headbands. Let me know your thoughts on this. I don't know if I can pull this off. But anyway, I thought it'd be kind of a good time because it's keeping a lot of my hair back. Um, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a, just a bit of a morning skincare routine. Last night I got back so late, so late. I got back about half past 12 because I was at an event in London that I thought started at half six. Turns out it started more like eight. Food was served at nine, because um, I was hoping to get home at half eight. I'm still like not feeling my best, so I was hoping to get home so that I'd be home in time for like a good sleep. Anyway, I just got chatting to people, and Astrid that was running the event, I just adore her, so I didn't want to leave too early. So in the end, I ended up leaving at like 20 to 11 to get all the way home in a car. Anyway, so this morning I've woke up really late as well, and I'm feeling now quite lethargic, because I've woke up so late. It's just, you know, double-edged sword. Um, and I literally looked in the mirror and was just like, wow, I look pretty awful. Um, I think it's it's those times when you come home late and you try and take off your makeup and because you're so tired, you do a bit of a half assed job of it. So then you find you've got residue of stuff all around your eyes and it just makes you look really like blah, dull. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rub a cleanser just around my eyes just to get rid of any like last bits of residue and things like that. Put myself up a little bit. Oh, but I've been, I mean, I've been getting stuff done though in bed this morning. Got some little bits and bobs that I'm working on before the end of Christmas. Okay, yeah, that's a bit better. Just a touch freshener, thank goodness. Using my specific towel. <laughs> You'll know from a few weeks ago when I did a bit of a skincare thing, I told you about my face towel. It touches nothing but my face. Hmm. I just wanted to do a little bit of a pamper sesh before I put on my makeup, really. Honestly, the noise. Closet's still being built, it's looking amazing. Got back last night and my desk is in now. My bag shelves are on the way. The shelving for a few of the different cupboards is in. Um, so the guys are hoping to finish today. They arrived at half seven this morning. Alex, luckily Alex got up and let them in because I was knockout. I was like, no way am I waking up. I was so tired. Anyway, so if you keep hearing noises, that's what it is. It's not the best time to film, but you know, got things to do. So I'm gonna use one of my all time favorites. I have mentioned this so many, many, many times, the Pure Clay Detox Mask from L'Oreal Paddy. So for complete transparency, this little moment in the vlog is an integrated paid for advertorial with L'Oreal Paris. So I can show you once again the amazing detox mask, but this is genuinely one of my absolute favourite all-time masks ever. It detoxes the skin, it clarifies, it just leaves my skin feeling a little bit more perky. It just like that mask that if I'm just feeling a bit dull and I just want to kind of like resurface the skin really quickly and detoxify, then this is what I'll use. Um, so, I mean, it's this. My version is a bit messy because I use it so much. I'm surprised I'm not at the bottom of this tub yet because I use this so often. But it's just one of those super easy masks. You can get it online. I'll leave some links down below where you can get it. 
but I mean you can also apply it with a brush but I tend to just put this on with my finger and then I'll leave it for five to ten minutes depending on how much I want to like detox my skin for a little bit. The thing with clay it just kind of pulls all the nasties and impurities off the skin a bit more to the surface and then you can kind of wash them all away and that's what I like about this mask so when it dries down um, it just it just feels like when you wash it away it just takes that layer of impurities and whatnot with it that's how it feels for me and that's why I just like the feeling of this and the fact it's just in a super easy tub I don't know for me it's just something so easy about using this product that makes me want to use it more and I've used it now for a couple of years especially on my chin that's where I just really want to get rid of a few little nasties that I can feel underneath my skin right now and I don't want them do you know what I'm going to put it on my nose too I don't know why I was missing out on my nose but let's get it right in there Every time I see Koshal put on a mask, if you don't know Koshal, Koshal Beauty, she's just wonderful. She always makes it so perfect. Maybe she puts it on with a brush, but it always just looks like so perfect every time. I don't know how she does it. Mm -mm. Obviously, miss out your lips. Miss out your eyes. Okay, great. Mm -mm -mm. I look fabulous. <laughs> so we have, uh, we're having a dinner party tomorrow night. So... I've got a few bits of work today but then I need to just like clean the house and get it ready because we're having two sets of guests so they're going to be staying over so I need to make sure that the guest bedrooms are ready and clean and all nice. Um, I mean looking pretty good actually I don't think it's going to take me too long I hope but that's on the agenda I need to do that. I mean I just need to nip out as well I need to do some I need to film a video I've got a little like cool little fashion video that I need to film. Yeah, lots to do today actually. Right, so, got that on. I'm just gonna leave it, yeah, five minutes. And then um, all I'll do is take a little cloth, a little face cloth. You can use any cloth you've got. And I'll use some lukewarm water and then just wipe this all away. Easy peasy. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna just take this off. Like I said, this will have just cleansed deep into the pores. It'll just detoxify the skin beautifully. My skin will just feel a lot fresher and more luminous now for the rest of the day and the weekend, which is what I wanted. I can barely talk now. This mask on is like, bah. <laughs> Ooh, also I forgot to say, if you were thinking about what ingredients are in here, there are three pure clays and also charcoal within this. So it'll be amazing just grabbing those nasties out of the skin and detoxing. Anyway, I'm going to take this off because I can barely speak. This is dry as a bone. So fresh and so clean. Mm. Skin feels amazing now. Seems it looks a little bit more luminous and glowy and less dull than before when I showed you. It's so easy just to put on and take off. I'm just gonna follow up now and put on some moisturizer and some eye cream, etc. And then I need to get on some makeup. Well, it's been quite the afternoon. <laughs> Me and Alex are headed out. In fact, let me sit down and ask it to you. Yeah, me and Alex headed out in the car to find somewhere like beautiful and countryside vibes to take shoot a video. However, it turns out that it started raining and then got heavier and heavier as we got there and then we were losing light. It's really difficult this time of year to be able to kind of plan around shoots unless you do it first thing and I always have things on. Anyway, so in the end we ended up going to some nearby shops and then we saw a Morrison's and we went into Morrison's because for our dinner party tomorrow we needed some bits. Yeah so it's been a few hours now, the guys from Hammond's are, they've not finished, I mean it's Friday, obviously the closet was meant to be finished today but I think whoever created the plans has majorly underestimated how big the room is and how much time it would need. So they're going to come back next week and finish off. Uh, the doors need going on and handles and all sorts but it's like it's coming together my bag shelves look really beautiful they've got like cornice at the top and things like that so it's looking great really really excited about it oh yeah a few things arrived that i kind of want to show you first up fortnum's fortnum and mason sent me um an unexpected little gift and they've sent me this adorable christmas tree charm with my initial on it just as a uh sweet little decoration so thank you very much Fortnum's love that okay 
Next up, and very excitingly, look what arrived from Cult Beauty. Can you guess what it is yet? Can you guess what it is yet? The Lydia Elise Millen box from Cult Beauty. Um, I've very, very kindly been sent the PR package of this and I am absolutely over the moon. Thank you to Cult Beauty and thank you so much to Liz for this. I am really excited. So inside the box, I'll just give you a little sneaky peek. So you get the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Oil that I'm pretty sure has a bit of retinol in there. Yes. Uh, Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturiser, which is super glowy. Lydia swears by it. In fact, Lydia swears by all these products, by the way. The Omaravitsa Cleansing Foam. The By Terry Brightening CC Serum. It's just like a bronzy liquid and it just enhances your complexion and makes you look super glowy. So if you're having one of those days where you don't want to put on foundation, it's awesome. The Audacity Rose and Neroli Hand Revitalizing Treatment Mist. I've never seen this, but it sounds great. So it's like a mist. And the Alpha H Liquid Gold, yeah, with glycolic acid. So this is, this is the pack and you get all of these inside here. And of course you get massive savings by buying it in this. But the link will be down below if you fancy getting yourself like a kit of skincare bits. Congratulations to Lydia again. This is the fourth time she's released this particular box. Absolutely killing it. Last thing that I was sent today was, how beautiful is this travel bag? It's so sturdy and robust and just like a big, chunky, over like overnight weekend bag. Oh, hello, Alex. Checking me out. I'm sorry, I was a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. So Bentley have sent this over for me to loan for a few weeks over the holiday season. I'm definitely borrowing this. I'm at, well, I knew you. No. Were. No. Have you opened it up? Yeah, show no, me how it. No, I have not. It's so cool. It opens up like a full suitcase, doesn't it? Yeah. So. Wow, it's like a little mini suitcase. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Oh, I really like I love it. that. I love the colours. Yeah, so Bentley's in that over, so like a little loan, so that when we drive home for Christmas in the Bentley, then we'll have this lovely little weekend back to say. Yeah, well. little magnetic closure. Beautiful, isn't it? And they also sent me, not that it's going to be sunny, hopefully it might be sunny on our, on our ride home. I haven't seen any shit. It sent me a pair of Bentley sunglasses as well. Very 60s? Really chic though, aren't they? Yeah, they're cool. Ooh. Uh cool aren't they <laughs> like these just driving home in these when to look so bougie driving home for christmas <laughs> we should put on christmas music it's friday night i'm gonna have a beer Ooh, we've still got two videos to shoot tonight now Woo! Woo! oh well get out of the way before tomorrow so yeah so those were a few of the parcels that we got today but we are going to eat leftover masaman curry aren't we from my dinner party, our. our dinner party, Bite Around the World catered for. We, we managed to save loads of the mass man curry and froze it, so we just keep taking it out now and now, now and again. Also, where's my dessert wine gone? You left it in the kitchen, so I it. Bring it to me, noble prince. No. <laughs> the fire is well and truly raging right now. I think we might have put a bit too much wood in it. <laughs> at the moment. Look how beautiful it looks So, Oh, the tree. You might be able to hear Alex is listening to the office. I am gonna go upstairs now and show you what I bought in the sales. You know, I don't know why, but I really, really love this room. Don't know what it is about it, but just like I said the other day, I feel it just feels very calming. So I really just like, I just really like being in this room. It's really nice. So if you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram then you may have already seen I kind of mentioned a few things that I picked up at first when like Black Friday was on and the sales I was a little bit uninterested and I wasn't that bothered I was in Chicago and I was like I don't really need anything um, so I'm not even gonna bother so I bought a few things for the house so I bought the door handles that I showed you in the last vlog and I bought a few little homeware bits some of which haven't even arrived yet so they're all en route but it, like a few days after, I think it was Cyber Monday actually, I was home and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to have a little look what's left in like the Black Friday sales. And I found a few things, but they're actually things that are a little bit more worthwhile than me just buying a load of 
stuff in the sales that I'll never use. So the things I actually did buy are things that I've that I kind of require a little bit. Okay, this I don't know. This may not make any sense, but all I'm trying to say is that they're not as frivolous purchases as maybe you would think. First box. First of all, there's Nesporte. I've got a few things. So they had like 30% off, loads of bits and bobs. And Nesporte is like one of my favourite stores to buy from because it's just so easy and so quick. And. Oh! Okay, this jumper. Now, this is the one thing that I don't need. I'll be honest. And yeah, you guys are going to be like, are you freaking kidding me? Another jumper. Yes, but. This literally made my heart like sing when I saw this online. Hopefully you can see that colour. It's a burgundy and navy cable knit with the most divine with the colours. The way the colours mix between like a burgundy and a navy blue. And I was just like, wow. I literally saw it, clicked it and was just like, please be my size, please be my size. And I think I managed to get it in my size. Yes. So I got an extra small and I just loved how thick and chunky it was and a little bit oversized vibes and the bigger sleeves. So this is the vibe of this jumper. I haven't even seen it yet. This is the jumper. Oh, it's gorgeous. So like oversized, these bigger sleeves, a bit like wider sleeves. Um, so you can just wear it like really baggy like this. A lovely neck on it. It's not too long. So you've got reels and reels of fabric. It just fits quite nicely it's a perfect kind of length of roll neck um and then it's a slightly longer fit but you could just just do a little midi tuck on this just so it gives a bit more shape around the front and it does come in a couple of colors there's are oh, the other color it's like a gray marl it's like a deep charcoal and a light gray and again they've mixed the two colors together like this and it's Stunning, it's so beautiful and I was choosing between the two and Rebecca was like no go for the burgundy because you don't have anything in that colour. So that's why I decided to go for this because first of all it's from Victoria Beckham who's one of my faves and I don't have anything in this colour for this season and I'm just obsessed with it. And I have a ski trip coming up and I thought I'd take this as a chunky knit on that trip to something really warm. I am most definitely, definitely keeping this jumper. What do you guys think? And the other thing I bought, oh my gosh, I forgot how amazing this is. This is, oh, again, I swooned when I saw this and it takes a lot for me to, to swoon these days. So this is a jumpsuit. Look at that cut at the front with the ribbing around the stomach and then down into pocketed trousers and like a cigarette trouser. Black zip all at the back, that is so classy. And a really fantastic shape around the top. I absolutely fell in love with this and I thought for Christmas parties it's just a bit different. So I'll try this on a second. Then I bought, oh, I've been excited about these and I haven't opened this bag because I'm meaning to show you and I really could have done with using these on Friday because it was really chilly. Um, I needed a pair of gloves. I don't have a pair of gloves and I wanted something really stylish and chic that would last me and would also work as driving gloves because strangely, my hands get so cold driving that car. I mean, it does have a heating steering wheel, heated steering wheel, but I find that the the fingers that are not on the car wheel get cold. My nails are longer is the issue, but they seem to fit so nice. I mean, look at these first of all. So it's like a tan and then in between the hands, in between the fingers, it's like a dark chocolate and then white. Love them. Absolutely stunning pair of gloves. Ta Almost feels like a microfiber kind of feel inside which will obviously keep you super warm how beautiful are they though so chic and then the last thing i got another pair of gloves but these are for my ski trip coming up i um i just really need a new pair of ski gloves because i've not bought a new pair in a couple of years and the ones that i have been using i've been finding my hands getting extremely cold so i thought i'd go for a new pair oh these are nice these have actual um 
sections for your fingers in them with fleece in between so literally i've got fleece in between each finger here they are great it's a really thick chunky um very well lined thermal glove for my skiing trip really love those and they have straps to put them around your wrists so that they so you can keep them on your wrist even if you want to take them off for a second which you often do when you're skiing that's really great yeah really pleased i got the size seven for my little handy so thrilled with those i'm thrilled with all these purchases i'm just going to try on this jumpsuit right so that was everything coming out of porte and then one piece that i found right so this coat this coat, I saw this a couple of months ago in Phoenix, when I was in Phoenix, and literally like, do you know when you see something in a store and it's really far away, you're like, what is that? And then me and Brian like wandered towards it like, that is so cool, I tried it on, loved it, and then ever since I've been kind of seeing it places and been like, oh I love that, maybe I should like pick it up, maybe I should go, oh I've got this on. Um, Anyway, then I saw it went into sale on Farfetch and it had like 40% off it. So I've decided to give it a try at home and see if I love it as much. Oh my god, it's just so... It's so different to all my other jackets, by the way, in case anyone's like, oh, you've already got enough coats. I very much agree. This is just a lot different to my other jackets. This coat is just a bit of me. It's the most beautiful fabric. I mean, look at, look at this. And... This is it. It is baby pink and tan. Black buttons. Look at that. That's so cute. That little label inside. And it's a really oversized style cocoon coat with this contrast, obviously, on each side. I love the fact that the collar is, again, it's on the opposite side. I just absolutely fell for this jacket when I found it and was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is the vibe of this let me show you do you do you see where i'm coming from are you think are you thinking i look a bit silly i personally think this is the most incredible coat the fabric is divine it's just a really beautiful wool or i think it is it feels like it all these little details like this beautiful pocket over the breast big black buttons the ooh, look at that contrast inside of there i love the fact it just looks like you've borrowed your boyfriend's coat and you're just throwing it on it looks so cool you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of my Stella McCartney coat from last year that I wore constantly and I st I've still got it still love it to absolute bits but this obviously it's got the pink it's a slightly different shape it's less cocooned I mean look at the that lovely detail around the and the drop shoulders I am truly smitten with this I almost want to go see what Alex thinks but just like with a really cool pair of boots on you know just walking around just very chilled throw it on and then at the back how nice is that detailing do you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of like a battenberg cake the way that a battenberg works like that let me go see what alex thinks what do you think of this jacket it's cool yeah i like it you see that contrast of the collar to the bit, the body what's, what's the ice cream called neapolitan neapolitan ice cream yeah if you wore like a, a white t-shirt Maybe halfway there. Yeah. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't it? Very cool. I really love it. It was in sale and I saw it months ago and just loved it. In this way you'd think I was wearing pink. But then this way you'd think I was wearing tan. It's like two faces. Then this way Two Face. Do you like it? Do you reckon I should keep it? Um just on the fence because I know what you're like about it not being classic. So I don't know if you'll get the wear out of it. I do like it though. Okay, I'll have to think about it, but I really love it. It's cool. So that was Alex's opinion on it. And personally, I think it's awesome. I mean, if I could put it, I could put like a big belt with it. Just throwing a quick one on from Hong Cooper. I mean, do you know what I mean? Get the gist, just like to cinch it a little bit more in. But look at that pink over the tan. Oh, the colours are just divine. I love them. Let me know, guys, what you think about this, because I'll still have it by the time you see this video. So I'd love your opinion. If you think this is just majorly cool like i do or if you just think it's not really worth it even with that percentage off it let me know your thoughts <laughs> okay wow this is just amazing the fit is like a glove the way the panels are on this a bit of a diagonal angle really accentuates the waist and makes you look like 
so nipped in like you could almost miss these side bits and it makes it look like that is literally my waist it's really flattering and this bit of a, an illusion my only issue with it which is such a shame is that the way they've done this darting here it's like loose extra fabric can you see that it's like a loose extra fabric that doesn't really need to be there i mean if i had bigger boobs and maybe but a really lovely length obviously with not with socks don't mind all my bits and pieces around um obviously not with socks but with some gorgeous stiletto heels and this is so gorgeous i'm a little bit obsessed with this mm, i just want to do about these i might try and take off her bra and see if it fits a bit better but then i feel like you'll see you'll see my boobs my nips through it definitely fits a bit better definitely fits a little bit better with no bra because now my boobs sort of sit a little bit more into where these darts are it just gives you a bit more of a, a pointed boob effect i suppose so yeah it definitely does feel a bit like it fits a bit better like that i just really liked the idea of being able to wear a little bra with it so maybe do you know what i might try some of the few more bras sorry i'm just like feeling my boobs here um i might just try some of the few more bras and see how i get on with this one because i really love it and i'll be absolutely gutted if i can't keep this because for christmas it'll be lovely but again now you can see obviously where the crease of my boob is it's creasing this whereas i quite liked the way before it was just up and there was no crease but then there was a darts issue so i mm, don't know i'm gonna play around i'm gonna experiment a little bit because i would hate to give these up because i just love them i'm just gonna cut this one fine here let me know what you think of all the things that i bought in the sale nowhere near as much as i usually buy I, honestly i usually buy so much more on the sale and really have cut back so much it may feel a little bit frivolous but like i said the two pairs of gloves i actually really needed the knitwear probably not so much but i don't have anything in that colorway the coat is just that really gorgeous fancy jacket that's a bit different and i actually really love it i've got nothing like it and then this i've not bought myself a really fancy um really elegant jumpsuit or dress in a, a little while now so i thought for christmas like for christmas day outfit this could be pretty awesome actually or any kind of christmasy events i have coming up this would be great for that so i'm gonna i'm gonna see what i think but yeah thank you for watching guys as always um your support is amazing it honestly means the world to me so thank you if you've got this far if you have got this far leave me a little um pink heart below to signify the pink coat leave me a pink heart and i know you got this far and i'll see you all soon guys bye